Hello everyone, we're going to talk Dear Prudence by The Beatles today, one of my all-time favourite songs from the White Album. <laughs> John Lennon on double track lead vocal, backing vocal, rhythm guitars, Paul McCartney, harmony and backing vocals, drums, bass guitar, piano, tambourine, hand claps, George Harrison, harmony and backing vocals, rhythm guitar, lead guitars, tambourine. So first of all, let's get into John's voice. I always love John Lennon's double tracked vocals on a lot of his records. Let's have a listen. Would you come out to just listening to it there you can hear he's double tracked his voice it just makes the vocal more round adds more bass and warmth to it you get that on a lot of beatles records and it's used a lot in pop music all over the spectrum it's funny this song when i make my own music i always use this subconsciously as a template this this song in particular always just stands out of how to make a record each section is advanced by different layers but it's never like they're showboating which is always what made the Beatles so special. It was just always about the song, that that's the most important thing. If you stripped all the instruments back, it'd still be a great song, it'd just be a great finger picking song. And Paul McCartney is playing the drums. This is due to the fact that Ringo walked out on the White Album sessions. Obviously there was tensions at that point, but he came back to finish the album. So let's have a listen to Paul's drums. <laughs> A straight high hat and snare. And then we get into the main groove of the song. So just kick and snare, but if you bring in Paul's bass, which you let your added. That's a great groove. And that sounds to me, if you play those two alone, almost quite contemporary. I can, you can imagine that being sampled for something. Maybe even a rap song, a hip hop, just as a sample. And then if you bring in John's guitar, if we play it back with John's guitar, you can hear how it blues it all together. This great moment. Get the tally faster. Let's see if I can remember that part. So he tunes his guitar down to drop D, and it's interesting he's doing a finger picking song on, on electric guitar actually. I love how Paul's bass line just, you know, pushes through on that boom, 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 boom. So it's all revolving around D following John's chords. Of course, later on in the song, everything kind of comes to a big crescendo. Ooh. 